Hey everyone, welcome back to Solitary Craft. Right, so last time we uh, we did a lot of stuff with the uh, Thalmcraft, and uh, now I'm gonna do some Ars Magica crap. Uh, I found out that I can make something called a spell book, and I can keep all my spells in it, so I don't have to have them all on my hotbar. And uh, that's just leather, string, and some paper, and then boom, we got a spell book. Sweet. And then we can apparently we can open this with sneak right click. Oh yeah, look. We have like a, a mini hotbar in the top left corner there. I'm not sure how we uh, change it. So if I sh sneak right click, that opens that up. And then I can start putting these in there. So let's get Orb of Light, Earth Fist, Fire Strike, Regenerate, Mage Fist. And then uh, I guess we can just stick the other ones over here. Boom. There we go. Sweet. And uh, that should work now, right? So how do I switch? Okay, so that's all automatically that's on Earth Fist. How do I switch? How do I uh, change which one I have? Because it wouldn't give me multiple slots unless I could change them somehow. Maybe if I sh shift left click? No? Um, I don't know. Huh. I'll have to look into that, but that's pretty cool. Having all my spells in just one book is going to really free up some space on my hotbar. Alright, so, uh, what we uh, need to do, we, I need to get the uh, red power situation sorted because I'm, I'm not liking what we have. We need something that's more robust, so I think I'm going to make a big reactor because uh, this seed oil is only going to be able to power this stuff that is able to be powered with uh, biogas engines because I can't just like hook up a bunch of biogas engines to cables and have them going into an energy cell, which I wish I could, but it just doesn't work. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a big reactor, and this is these are the things we're going to need to make. We're going to need casing, fuel rod, control rod, power tap, access port, and the controller. So if we go, if we just type in, I think, big reactors, let's see, big, oops, reactors. Yeah, there it is. All right, so uh, we've got control rod. Let's make. We're gonna make the smallest one, which is a. Uh, it's three by three by three. So we're going to need first. Okay, we're gonna need one controller, one access port, one power tap, one control rod, and one fuel rod, and then the rest can be reactor casings. So I think we're gonna need. Let's see, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 21 reactor casings, and uh, reactor casings, that's graphite, iron, and uranium, so graphite is just coal smelted, and uh, so we need, that makes four at a time, so we can make, uh, what, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, like, five or six crafts, so let's just get, five times four we're gonna need like 20 20 iron and then we'll get 20 graphite bars you know we might as well just smelt up like a whole stack so yeah I'm just gonna smelt a whole stack of coal and uh, hopefully this should just go straight to graphite I hope let's see let's just make sure okay yeah good that's gonna make graphite and then do we have iron in here uh, we got some lead yeah we got six ingots I need a bit more than that. Oh shit, no, I didn't want to do that. God damn it. Ah, uh, this is the wrong side. I wanted to use these ones. No. Now I can't get that iron out. Uh, do I have any blocks? Blocks of iron. I have one block. Well, that's going to have to do. All right, well, I'll get this uh, iron transport or transported, transformed into bars and uh I don't know, we might, I think we have to go get some ore out of the, out of the barn, because we're running low. So I'll get the iron, get the graphite, and then, I don't know if we have any uranium, because, uh, if we do, it's, it'd probably be somewhere in one of those chests down in the mine. Although we might, we might have a, just like a single thing of uranium in here. Oh, yeah, we got four uranium ore there, and, uh... I don't know if there's different types of uranium from different mod packs, but I, I bet there is. Ooh, there's some iron, too. So iron, 
Any more iron in here? Oh shit. I don't think so. Oh no. Looks like we're running low on iron, so I might have to do a little bit of mining too. Alright, no problem. Alright, so I've got four uranium now, and I can also use this uh, yellow right apparently, so throw some of that in there. And then, okay, so we can start crafting. Uh, first thing, reactor casing. So let's make five, at least to begin with. So iron in the corners, graphite, uranium. Okay, actually, uh, do I want to use yellow, yellow, uh, yellow yellorium? Do I want to use the yellorium first? Let's see, how do I make... Well, we're going to need the control rod for sure. And that's going to be... Okay, so yeah, we can use yellorium for any of them, I guess. All right, well, I'll just... Uh, let's just craft the control rod. Well, yeah, let's craft the, the other stuff first. All right, so... We'll put four of these in here. And then iron, graphite... Let's see, was it like this? And then iron... Boom. There we go. Big, yeah, reactor casing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Not quite. Um, boom. Five. So there's 20, 20 casings. I think we're going to need a little bit more than that, actually. We're going to need three. Yeah, we're going to need uh, maybe one more. One more craft, maybe. I don't know. Before I do that, though, I want to make sure that I can get this made. So graphite, redstone... And then, oh shit, I need casings for that, too. I need to put the casings here. Redstone, where's the, uh, there we go, boom. Graphite, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so there's the control rod. We definitely need one of those. And then we're gonna definitely need a controller. Oh my god, that needs a diamond. All right, so I gotta, we'll make that later. Um, power tap, which is redstone, and casings. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna make, need to make a lot more casings. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and just throw some coal in here. There we go. Make some more of those. And then, uh, need some more redstone. So we can grab that. Alright, now, power tap. Wait, where did that go? How did I make it? Oh, four of them. Whoops. There we go. There's the power. And then, so now we just need the controller. And then we're going to need, what's this, access port? Yeah, we need an access port, which is a chest, a piston, and reactors. Boom, boom. Chest, piston. Uh, other way around. Yep. And then, I think one more thing we're going to need. Yeah, the fuel rod. And that's uh, six iron, two graphites, and one uranium. So, where's my iron? There it is. Boom, boom, and graphite, and then the uranium. There we go. Eulorium fuel rod. Nice. Okay, so, we've got eight reactor casings left over. Is this everything we need? Oh, yeah, we need the controller, and that's going to need a diamond and two more ingots. Well, good thing I've got this eulorium here. Uh... And then I've got eight more, because we're gonna I think we're gonna need to load some of these ingots into the actual reactor itself. So we wanna keep at least a few. And then I'll go get a diamond. Hopefully we have some. I'm not really sure. I hope, I hope. If not, we'll just have to quickly go searching. Um oh yeah, here we go. Sixteen diamonds. Okay, we just need one. Take that. Alright. Oh, man, big reactor. Here we go. We're finally getting to some of the more technical stuff. Oh, okay. Um, here I come. So, 12 more graphite bars. Very nice. Oh, yeah, we're going to need... That's right. Okay, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 uranium, 1 redstone. Diamond, redstone. Uh, does the allurium work? Hopefully it does. And then 1, 2, 3, 4... There we go. Reactor controller. Sweet. Now we just need to get a bunch more casings. We need to get back up to like 24 or something. Should be safe. Uh, so, how did I make those again? Yeah. Iron. 
boom. Um, graphite. And then Eulorium. Boom. One here. Okay, now we're going to need to make some more Eulorium, definitely. So let's get that out and throw that in there. We'll just smelt up the rest of this Eulorite because we'll need to use it for fuel. And I think I'll, I better go start the quarry again because we're out of Yellowrite and we're running low on diamonds. So I want to make sure this thing is, is mining. All right, so to get this thing started, all we need to do is uh, get our... Oh, well maybe it's in the... Maybe it's in my bag. Okay, we just need... Ah, here we go. Just need our crescent hammer. And then we'll whack this. Bam. And we'll start draining. And then uh, these will fill up. There we go. Those are filling up nicely. And as soon as all these are full, I'll just hit it again with the wrench. And it should mine at least a whole layer. There we go. And that tank is still full because we have so much in the system. So... Yeah, that's how our little quarrying system works. We can very easily fill up those engines as we need to. And we have these big reservoirs. Oh, man, this is definitely the way to have it. Ah, it looks like it has actually mined out quite a bit. We're three layers down. Still got a long way to go, though. All right, well, quarry's back on. That'll run for the rest of this episode, probably. And now, now we need... What do we need? Oh, that's right. Yellowrite. Need to get their yellowrite. Boom. Yellorium. Whatever it's called. Boom. Smelt the rest of that. Okay, and now we can make... Oh, shit. We're one iron short. I need one more iron. And then we can have all the ones we need. Boom. Actually, I don't... I don't think we need to craft another one. Let's just hold off. Let's make sure we can, uh, yeah. So now we need to find a nice place to put this thing. It's going to be a, well, it's not that big, so we don't really need, like, a whole building to put it in. Because at some point, I will make a bigger one, like a massive one. Um, but in the meantime, where, I need a nice, a central location would be, would be good. Because what takes RF? Um, what takes RF? Well, that. I could definitely use it to power the uh, these things over here, the multi farms, and I can use it. I could also use it to power the uh, these things, the squeezers too, couldn't I? Holy shit! I yeah 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 yeah. Maybe I could get a a single reactor to power all the squeezers and the f multi farms, so we wouldn't have to worry about using that nether rack at all. Oh, that would be nice. That'd be nice, because that's kind of a complicated system. It's more complicated than it needs to be, anyways. Um, so, yeah, I'll make the reactor somewhere around here. But where? Uh, we could put it... Do we want it above ground or underground? We could maybe, like, dig out a, a small hole right here. Have, like, an access going in. Do we have any dirt? Can I fill that in? Uh, nope. Damn. Well, oh, I don't know. I don't know. We could put it under the mage tower, because it's going to, it might blow up. That's the thing. If it blows up, you don't want it to damage everything. So, yeah, maybe in here. Maybe underneath the mage tower. That would be nice, because it's close enough to this. Yeah, yeah, seems good. Let's do it. Let's do it.